Welcome to this episode of Danny's Meteorology Sessions. Hey everyone, it is Danny, and welcome to this my third meteorology session. And before I go into any of this, I want to say to you guys a very happy 2021, happy new year. This is my first session for the year, and I just want to say that I hope that this year will be a lot better than last year, especially for you guys seeing this video. I hope that you have a very prosperous, a very successful, and a fun filled 2021. And so now, guys, let us go into this meteorology session. Welcome to this, my third meteorology session, which is actually going to be covering two different topics that are a bit similar in a way. Why is the sky blue and why do we get rainbows or how do they form? So guys, let's go into it, but before I go into details, please tap the subscribe button and the notification bell so you know every time when I post a new video. And if you are excited to know the reason why these take place, please tap the like button. It's really great to have the channel to grow as well. So the first thing that we are going to be talking about is why is the sky blue? So a lot of persons speculate different things about this and one of the most common reasons that actually is not true at one ounce is because it reflects blue light from the ocean. Guys, it's really the other way around and actually I never want to believe that because I'm saying that if that was the case, why when I go to the beach and I get up some water in my hands, it's clear. So that alone proves that it is the other way around. The sea or the ocean is reflecting the light above it. Alright guys, so let us go into the scientific explanation about it real quick. So the reason we have the sky being blue is all due to the scattering of the blue light. And so we know that sunlight reflects the white light. And so the white light is really comprised of all the different colors going from red to violet. And so the blue travels as smaller and shorter wavelengths which eventually makes it being scattered more into our atmosphere. And the light is scattered because of the different gases because you won't find blue like on a planet like Mars or probably Mercury. So we're talking about Earth's atmosphere. We know that it's the different gases that make up the atmosphere. We have our oxygen, we have nitrogen, hydrogen, we have our inner gases, we have our carbon dioxide. All of those gases is what makes up our atmosphere, guys. So that's a simple explanation for it because the blue wavelengths travel shorter and smaller and so that's the reason they're scattered more than the other different colors such as red or green. Imagine if, out of curiosity, just imagine this, guys. Imagine if green was to switch place with blue for a day. The sky would be green during most of the day and that would be absolutely creepy. So that is the reason the sky is blue and the ocean has nothing at all to do with it. The ocean just reflects the blue light above it and the person snake is the other way around and it actually has nothing to do with that. Another question that you might have is why do we actually see colors such as reds, oranges, yellows as we are in sunrise or sunset? That is because the light is not really in the horizon as yet where the blue is really being scattered across the atmosphere of Earth. And so that is the reason we have those colors being there during sunrise or sunset. So I hope that you guys understand what I just said. And now let us move on to rainbows. So guys, let's think about rainbows for a moment. Let's say that we don't know why they occur, but we do get a hint why they form or what results in them. Rain. So rain is a form of precipitation, of course. Alright guys, so let us go back to the water cycle. So first we have the sun heating our different water sources such as our rivers, ponds, lake. Even if you spill something by accident and it has some liquid in it, you're going to also notice that it dries up after a time once it is sunny. So after that point, it's really evaporation at that stage. The next stage is condensation where we have the water vapor rising and cooling because of course we know that the higher up you go, the cooler it gets in Earth's atmosphere. And so it's going to be cooling to form clouds and when we have the clouds being saturated, that is when they look so dark and sinister, like we're going to have a very 
very strong thunderstorm or just some rain that is really the point when we have precipitation taking place and precipitation can be in the form of either hail snow rain or sleet guys so in the event of rain that is what is going to be helping to form a rainbow and so rainbows are caused because of rain so what happens is that tiny droplets of water when it's going to rain, those tiny droplets of water actually act as tiny prisms that bend white light because again, the sun emits white light which contains all the different colors. And so what happens is that those tiny raindrops which act as glass prisms break down on the white light into its separate colors, go into red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. And so, we might wonder why do we actually have red being the dominant color and red is just at the longest wavelength. And so guys, there are some interesting facts about rainbows. Ever think about why you can't actually reach the end of a rainbow, like wherever you see that last part of it go down, like in some mountains or so? Well, the reason for that is because they are optical illusions, so they actually fool us. It can never really reach a rainbow. And another fact is that we see them as this in our atmosphere, but in reality, they are full circles. And you can only see them once you're elevated above Earth, like if you're traveling in an airplane and you actually look down, you can actually see the full circle be in the rainbow guys so that is something that is also quite interesting I find to be very interesting as well and also guys rainbows don't just have to be during a, a thunderstorm or during rainfall where we have the clouds and the rain coming into place I actually noticed this a lot I took a picture once where the glass in the bathroom was reflecting the lights the white light coming in from the sun of course that was about sunset around there and it actually broke down the light into its separate colors and you were seeing it being reflected on the wall it's here every single day because that is just how it works so it's the same way that we have rainbows taking place as well and so guys I hope that you understand the reason we have we have the sky being blue while we have the different colors such as reds oranges and yellows at sunrise or sunset and also I hope that you understand the reason that rainbows form and also the different facts about rainbows that I just mentioned to you guys. So guys, thank you for watching this video and I hope that you do have a wonderful rest of the day. And remember to always be otherwise and stay tuned for more meteorology sessions in the future.